Hey, you guys. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to put this YouTube short up. Um, I put prayers up not to impress anyone, but to kind of lead people who are just getting to know God and let them know how important it is to pray. It is so important to pray. Jesus is always telling me to pray, pray, pray. Um, the Bible says pray without ceasing. Um, but this short, I just ran across it. I'm about to go to bed. I'm really tired. It's like 3.18 a.m. Excuse me. And I've been doing scripture all night. And studying some things and reading. Um, but this YouTube short says everything I would ever want you to know about prayer. And I'm just not that articulate. I thank God that he uses me. You fly is what he calls it. Um, he's, he uses me via the Holy Spirit to show you guys things on tissue. It's amazing and I'm so grateful that he uses me that way because I'm not that articulate. I could not be a preacher or anything like that. Um, if God decided he wanted me to be, I could be because whatever he calls you for, he equips you for. Believe it. But anyway, I want to share this with you and tell you, don't forget to pray and praise the Lord. God bless. Warning. Here's how a lack of prayer is making you spiritually weak. When we lack prayer, the flesh, which is the sin nature, is strengthened. When the flesh is strengthened, our resistance against temptation is weakened. A lack of prayer will always lead to a lack of wisdom, boldness, holiness, peace, love, and joy. To lack prayer is to depend upon self instead of upon God. To lack prayer is to lack direction and purpose. When you neglect prayer, your awareness of God's presence begins to diminish. You can accomplish more in a single prayer-filled day than you can in a prayerless week. Will you make a commitment to live a lifestyle of prayer? Warning, 